Hello everyone, you are welcome once again to our full learning English. Today, I want us to take a look at these consonant sounds. Th and th. These are fricative sounds. And in my previous video, I said fricative sounds are sounds that when produced, they give way to frictional noise because the speech organs form so close together that the outgoing hair passes through a narrow space. So our focus today is on dental fricatives. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to be learning the names of these sounds, how they are properly and correctly articulated, their distribution in English words, that is, where they occur, word initial, word medial, and word final. And we also take a look at some silent letters. So let's get started. The first one here is pronounced as th, th, and it is called voiceless dental fricative. It is voiceless because when you pronounce the sound, there is no vibration around your neck. And it is dental because when you pronounce the sound, as you can see on the screen, the tongue makes contact with the upper teeth and the lower teeth, but more with the upper teeth. Sometimes some phonologies or phoneticians will say the tongue is locked in between the upper teeth and the lower teeth. But one common and noticeable thing when you're pronouncing the sound is that the tongue, the tongue comes out. Th, th. And that is why this sound is called dental fricative. And it's also a fricative sound because when you pronounce the sound, the hair passes through a narrow space and it gives way to some form of frictional noise. So let's look at where we can find the sound at the beginning of words in English language, at the middle and at the end. At the beginning, you can find the sound in the following words, thought, three, three, and thrash, thrash. At the middle, you can find the word in the following words. You can find the sound in the following words. Cathesis, cathesis, pathos, healthy, healthy. And at the end, you can find the sound in the following words. Hearth, both, and worth, worth. It's important to note that students often confuse the T sound and the TH sound together. Here is a list showing the contrast. Now, what do we mean by this? For second language speakers, I mean not native speakers this time around, they often replace the dental fricative with the alveolar plosive. They often replace the dental fricative with the alveolar plosive. And the obvious reason is that the dental fricative is a sound that is not found in our own language, in our own indigenous or native language. So in the bit to pronounce some English words that contain the dental fricative, we replace it with the alveolar plosive. So let's take a look at some of the examples we have here. We have tie and thigh, eat and eat, eat and eat. Thin and thin, thin. Cheat, cheat and cheat. For silent letters, the TH is not pronounced in the word asthma. Asthma. So the letter TH is silent. One more important thing about this sound is that it is often represented by letter TH. Can I repeat that? The sound is often represented by letter TH. Now the second sound. The second sound is called voiced dental fricative. Voiced dental fricative. And it is pronounced as the, the, the. The same pronunciation. The only difference is that the first one is voiceless, while this one is voiced. 
So it's worse because when you pronounce the sound, there's a vibration. It's dental because the tongue is locked, is locked between the upper teeth and the lower teeth, and it is fricative because of the frictional noise. So let's take a look at the distribution of the sound. At the beginning of words, you can find the sound th, th, th in the following words: there, there, those, this, this. At the middle, you can find the sound in the following words. Brother, brother, together, and gather, gather. At the end, you can find the sound in the following words. Clothe, clothe, smooth, and breathe, breathe. I also notice that students often replace the dental, the voiced dental fricative with the voiced alveolar, alveolar plosive, excuse me. The students and learners often replace the voiced dental fricative, which is the, the, with the voiced alveolar plosive, because we can't find this particular sound in our, in our local or native languages. So, let's take a look at the following examples. We have day and they, there and there, there. We have though and though, then and then. It's also important to show a contrast between the voice and the voiceless dental fricative. One is voiceless while the other is voiced. The one on this side is voiceless while the one on this side is voiced. So let's take a look at some examples. Breathe. Breath. Breath and breathe. Author. Other. Clock. Clothes. Method. Mother, mother. So, here you have it. You have come to the end of this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of watching my video on a full learning English. Beside the subscription button is also the notification bell. Click the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.